Apple's keyboards have gone through a roller coaster in both positive and immensely negative press. In spite of its unreliable reputation, I went ahead and spent the steep 150 US dollars on their keyboard with the number pad built in to put it to the test and see if it's worth the price that is equivalent to that of the top of the line keyboards on the market. Three months ago, I made a video on this keyboard. Since then, my videos have grown in both quality and depth and as such warrants an update on the keyboard. After owning the keyboard for well over one year now, I'm confident I can help you understand Understand whether this device would be a good investment in increasing your overall productivity or if it would be money wasted on yet another quickly depreciating electronic asset. To achieve this, I'll break it down into three main categories, functionality, quality, and value. This keyboard functions exactly like any other keyboard I've had in the way it types. I'm no keyboard connoisseur and as such, the way the keyboard feels isn't insanely important to me. However, even then, I do like the way it feels when I type. It's identical to that of the late 2019 MacBook Pro 16 I have, my personal favorite. One of my favorite functions of this particular keyboard is its ability to automatically pair with my MacBook when it's in range. As such, it allows me to just set my laptop down onto its stand, plug in two wires, power and monitor connections, and go on working like it's a desktop, a feature I absolutely love and would argue adds to it being worth said steep price. The quality of this device is where it really shines. In spite of it being relatively small in form factor, in comparison to other keyboards, the build quality of it is really good. The frame is made from some kind of thick aluminum, making it feel quite heavy when you take its size into consideration. The keys and body are made from some kind of durable feeling polymer that neither adds or takes away from the quality of the product and how this keyboard overall feels. So at the end of the day, I would give the quality of this keyboard a solid eight out of 10, not a 10 out of 10, because because of its lack of an entirely aluminum body, something I think it should have if functionally possible with the Bluetooth connections for the steep price point. The looks of this keyboard is in my opinion one of its strongest attributes as in space gray it can make any desk look really clean, sleek, modern, and even more productive. Something about the smaller form factor, colors apples chose to make this keyboard appearance just look quite attractive. However, to me, this is only applicant to the space gray color. The value of this keyboard is definitely going to be subjective from person to person. Other keyboards that are in this price range often include programmable keys or some special feature that differentiates it from its competition. The only feature this keyboard has that separates it is its ability to automatically connect to my laptop, a feature only relevant to those who own a Mac of some kind. Even then, I'd argue for someone like myself who uses their computer daily for productivity oriented tasks on a Mac like Photoshop, video editing, typing scripts, and web browsing this keyboard is perfect as it can make your desk setup look really nice and clean which i think has had a considerable impact in increasing my personal productivity so in conclusion despite this keyboard coming out six years ago if you have a mac you use for productivity oriented tasks extremely often i'd argue this keyboard would be a great investment however if you do not fall into this group i think there are other keyboards that would likely meet your needs at a much better value and please do consider subscribing as only two percent of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small creator any support really does immensely help